This is how you can make any boring mac and cheese taste really good as long as you make it from scratch and put two pounds of lobster in it. Welcome back to Food by Mark. I'm Mark and today we're making mac and cheese. It's not going to be your everyday run-of-the-mill boring mac and cheese. And that's because we're putting two pounds of lobster tail into this. It won't be cheap, but it will be freaking good. For the viewers that are cooking along, you can cook this however you want. You can poach it, boil it, steam it, poach it in butter, grill it. Doesn't matter. How you like your lobster cooked is up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sous vide it, take it out of the shell first, poach it in butter at 130 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes. And that will get us perfect lobster meat poached in butter. So I cut a score right in the middle on the back. I'm going to come through on the bottom side, cut back along the sides of the tail on both sides. I do recommend a good pair of sh kitchen shears for this. Don't want some rinky dink janky ones ruining all the fun. Okay, we have our lobster peeled. A little bit of scraps that fell off. Not gonna waste the meat. It only cost $40 a pound. Get those in there. Let's vacuum seal this. And then uh, sous vide it, 135 degrees for 45 minutes. In the meantime, let's make the mac and cheese. Okay, I have the lobster and the sous vide. Before we make the cheese for the mac and cheese, let's first make the mac. Got a pot of boiling water, so just follow the instructions on the box and cook it to where it's al dente. Got the macaroni going. Let's make the cheese. Five tablespoons of unsalted butter. Get this melted up. Okay, the butter's all melted up. Let's make a simple roux. We got oil, we got flour. To make the roux, we just have to brown that flour in the oil. That will help get us a really rich, almost nutty flavor. It's very nice. We're not going to get this overly brown. We're going for a golden brown hue. If we are making gumbo, we would brown this like crazy, and we definitely wouldn't be using butter. But... I'm fine with that right there. <clears throat> oh, boil it over. That's fine for our roux. We're gonna pull this from the heat. I'm setting my induction cooker to 170 degrees Fahrenheit to melt the cheese at. Let's go ahead, get our milk in. Our cream, onion powder, salt, let's do a half teaspoon of mustard powder, one tablespoon of black pepper. On a very low heat, I have this set at 170. We're going to add our cheese and just let it start melting. We got eight ounces of Havarti, four ounces of Parmigiano Reggiano, and eight ounces of cheddar. Because I have such a precise temp, I'm not even going to bother shaving it, or shredding it, or cutting it. It'll melt. It'll do its thing. We'll be back in a little bit once that's all done. Okay, the cheese is done. The macaroni's done. The lobster's done. We just have to add everything in. We're not going to waste any of this lobster flavored butter. That is going straight in. 
for their mac and cheese. Let's just put this into more manageable pieces for the mac and cheese. Oh, first, let's give it a try. That's good. And that's how you can make some really simple, easy, basic mac and cheese for only $80. Let's give it a taste. It doesn't even taste like 80 bucks. It tastes like 200. You're gonna love it.